hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to see the android 12 rom which is the arrow os so guys let's begin so as you guys can see here is the android 12 and this rom here is arrow os and the Security patch level is the latest 5th of October one and the kernel we get is the Stormbreaker version 4.1 So these were the specifications and yes, this is one of the first ROM based on Android 11 Which you can use it as a daily driver So yeah, we are going to take a look on it. So going back. This is the settings page Which is a bit redesigned slightly redesigned as you can see then going to the home screen this is the ui and this is the new quick settings in the android 12 which is looking just great so looking to the features of the android 12 first of all going to the system in the gestures these are the options the one-handed mode here is now available in the stock android swipe down on the nav bar and you will be able to switch to one-handed mode this is how it looks the one-handed mode then we get to see the press and hold power button for the assistant and everything the system navigation gestures you get to see the system update but i don't think it's working these are the options this is the digital well-being available as you can see and this is the whole ui here is the material uui uh, it adjusts the accent color according to the wallpaper which is just great then uh, moving forward to the security here the face unlock here option is not available fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine as you can see the face unlock option here is just not available which i is a bit missing something then going to the accessibility these are all the options we get to see the live transcribe option you can turn it on then talk back switch access and everything use switch access so these are the all the options available the extra dim here is available for the dark mode you can turn it on in the normal mode also but the extra dim here is available option the dark theme magnification the system controls then going back to wallpaper and style these are the options available as there is no pixel launcher here this is the arrow os launcher the pixel launcher is not here so you don't get to see the material u icons the app icons here which is which are introduced in the android 12 so you don't get to see that in this in this option you only get to see the wallpaper option or the other options here are missing in the wallpaper and styles then going to the display these are the options just the same as android 11 one the colors and everything okay i don't know what so i don't know what was that what just happened i just don't know what was that these are the display options just the same as android 11 one we get to see the device specific settings the minimum refresh that you can set to whatever you want 60 90 or 120 so yeah these were the options in the display then going to the sounds this is the new volume panel available here as you can see the new volume panel this is how it looks and you can switch between the modes the vibrate silent whatever you want from here so this is a new U the new ui of the android 12 then otherwise is everything is just the same and you get to see the direct sound enhancer option you can enable it then moving to the battery here i'll show you the battery usage so this the battery drain from 93 percent to 23 percent that was 70 percent battery drain and the screen on time was 4 hour and 27 minutes so yes the battery backup on this room is good not that great it's good and uh, to charge it from 23% to 85% it took 1 hour 13 minutes so the battery charging time here is a bit long the charging here is a bit slow but the battery backup you will get is good and these these were the settings options otherwise everything here is just the same going to the home screen this is the new widget as you can see this is these are all the new widgets the drive one this is the clock one and as you can see the you now get to see the animations also the app closing animation in the widgets too just like the ios and the animation just don't at all lag which is good thing and 
this is a new shortcut this is the telegram group if you still haven't joined then please guys join the telegram group here also you get to see the app closing animation in each and every widget you get to see the app closing animation available so the widgets here this is the new clock available and here when you edit these are all the different clock styles available which just looks great then talking about the another widgets i'll just show you these are all the widgets for the browser and everything the clock widgets here are all the clock widgets different clock the stopwatch these are all the material you and it just changes the accent color according to the wallpaper you set so yes then moving forward to the home screen you don't get to see the google feed available because this is not the pixel launcher talking about the quick settings this are the the wifi here is working absolutely fine mobile data volte e also here is working fine no issues with the volte e flashlight here is working airplane mode and everything hotspot also no issues it's working fine then you get to see the night light option the screen recorder here is also working fine no issues then we get to see a toggle for toggle for the refresh rate so we get to see the toggle for the refresh rate you can switch between the refresh rate from here and we get to see the extra dim then this is a cool option like the security option the camera access you can directly block the camera and mic access from here so you won't be able to use any app which use camera and mic as you can see you will need to unblock and if you cancel then it, the app just you will you won't be able to access the camera as you can see this is snapchat and the camera here is just not working otherwise everything you can access the camera will not work so you can directly block the camera access and mic access directly from here so this is a useful option which i just loved and it's just a great option available here then talking about the camera here the default camera we get to see in this room is the gcam go version so this is this is the gcam go version pre installed and i am running the google camera which is good and now here it just shows you just like the ios that the camera here is running and if you are recording a video then it sh it will show you that the camera both the camera and mic both are running simultaneously yes this is a cool new security feature available in the android 12 which i just loved so then the another feature we get to see here is uh, if you are in the google chrome app or any browser in any browser so now you can just directly just hold here just click on copy image now just if you want to send it to anyone like in the like in the messages and in the chat as you can see here it is showing the image and you can directly paste and send the image from here so yes this is a cool new option available in the android 12 you can directly copy the image from the browser and just paste so you can now copy paste the images also which is great talking about the other stuff the calculator here is also the new ui calculator the google photos here everything has the new material ui available and in the mail also if you have noticed or not there is a cool new animation when you open an app like in the google mail app as you can see this is the new animation available in the photos app also in the whatsapp also this is the new opening animation and all the google apps have their own animation like for the documents app if you as you can see this new animation then moving forward to the safety net status here the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps are running perfectly fine the google pay and everything are running fine talking about the geekbench scores here are the geekbench scores 402 and 1393 yes the scores are very less compared to android 11 talking about the end to do benchmark scores these are the scores 2 lakh 92000 so yes the end to do benchmark and geekbench scores both are less compared to android 11 but the performance here is just not an issue at first when you flash this rom at first uh, for few hours the rom will just lag but after some time the rom will be just smooth and it will work just fine talking about the overall performance you can definitely use this rom as a daily driver there are no lags or stutters i have faced everything so far has been working perfectly fine 
and the app opening speed and everything here is fast so i'm just impressed with the android 11 rom android 12 rom this is the initial build and the initial build has been so much good talking about the calls the calls are also just working fine there are no issues with the calls too calls just works perfectly fine the bug is i had faced a hang issue sometimes the phone just gets hanged this i had faced it for the for only one time in i'm using this from three to four days four days now and i have faced the hang issue only once so yeah the hang issue is there you will need to reboot the phone so yeah this was it for now if you enjoy this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye